For years, men over 60 have been told that a glass of red wine is good for your heart, your libido, and your virility. At the same time, pomegranate juice has been touted as a superfood that can boost circulation and even aid erections. But which one is really more effective, and which one comes with risks? In the next few minutes, I'll put pomegranate head-to-head -head with red wine and reveal which drink is actually better for your heart and your manhood. Let's begin with pomegranate juice, because it has earned its reputation as one of the most powerful superfoods for men over 60. For centuries, pomegranate has been called the fruit of life. Ancient cultures believed it symbolized vitality, fertility, and strength. And today, modern science is proving they were onto something. What makes pomegranate so effective is its high content of polyphenols, powerful antioxidants that protect your blood vessels. These compounds reduce oxidative stress, calm inflammation, and improve the function of the endothelium, the inner lining of your arteries. Why does that matter? Because when the endothelium is healthy, it produces more nitric oxide, the molecule your arteries need to relax and open wide for strong blood flow. In practical terms, this means pomegranate helps lower blood pressure, improves circulation to the heart, and yes, even supports erections by ensuring more blood can flow into erectile tissue. In fact, research published in the International Journal of Impotence Research found that men who drank pomegranate juice daily for several weeks reported improved erectile function. The antioxidants didn't act overnight like a pill, but they worked gradually, restoring healthier circulation over time. Here's the mini hook. Unlike many supplements that promise quick fixes, pomegranate juice doesn't just cover up symptoms. It repairs your blood vessels at the root. That makes its effects deeper, longer lasting, and safer. Beyond erections, the benefits extend to the entire cardiovascular system. Studies in patients with heart disease have shown that pomegranate juice can reduce arterial plaque buildup by as much as 30% and improve overall vascular health. That's critical because heart disease and erectile dysfunction share the same root cause, poor blood flow. By addressing one, you're helping the other. I've had patients who came to me worried about their blood pressure and low energy. Adding a small glass of pure pomegranate juice to their daily routine wasn't a miracle cure, but within a few months, many reported lower blood pressure readings, better stamina, and even the return of morning erections they thought were gone forever. So when we talk about natural Viagra foods and drinks, pomegranate is not hype. It's a science-backed choice that improves both heart health and sexual vitality. But is it better than red wine? Hold that thought. Because while pomegranate shines in many ways, red wine has its own set of benefits and risks. Now let's turn to red wine. For decades, red wine has been praised in the media as part of the so-called French paradox. The idea that people in France had lower rates of heart disease despite a diet high in fats, partly because they drank wine with meals. The key compound often credited is resveratrol, a powerful antioxidant found in the skins of red grapes. Resveratrol, like the polyphenols in pomegranate, helps protect the endothelium of your blood vessels. It improves nitric oxide availability, reduces oxidative stress, and supports healthier circulation. Several studies have linked moderate red wine consumption, usually defined as about one glass per day with improved heart health, lower cholesterol, and even better blood vessel flexibility for men. This can indirectly support erectile health, since stronger circulation means better function in the bedroom. Here's the mini hook. But notice the word moderate. That's where things get complicated. Because unlike pomegranate, red wine carries a significant downside. Alcohol. Alcohol is a double-edged sword. In small amounts, it may relax you and help with social confidence. But in larger amounts, or for men with high blood pressure, liver issues, or sleep problems, alcohol can quickly turn from helpful to harmful. In fact, excess alcohol damages the very blood vessels it's supposed to protect. It raises blood pressure, contributes to weight gain, disrupts sleep, lowers testosterone, and over time, can even worsen erectile dysfunction. I've had patients who insisted their nightly two or three glasses of wine were healthy but their blood pressure, belly fat, and performance told a different story. Studies confirm this as well. While one glass of red wine may improve vascular function, two or more glasses a day often negate those benefits and increase health risks. And for men over 60, 
the margin for safety is narrower because your body processes alcohol more slowly than it did in your younger years. Here's another mini hook. So while red wine can give your arteries a short-term boost, too much of it can silently chip away at your vitality, your sleep, and even your erections. That's why when we compare pomegranate and red wine, we can't just look at the antioxidants. We must weigh the risks of alcohol itself. And this is where the contrast becomes very clear. So now the question, pomegranate or red wine, which one really comes out on top? Both deliver antioxidants that support nitric oxide and blood flow. Both have been studied for their effects on the heart and circulation. But here's the crucial difference. Pomegranate gives you all the benefits without the baggage of alcohol. Red wine may contain resveratrol. But to get enough resveratrol to match the polyphenols in a glass of pomegranate juice, you would need to drink far more wine than is safe. In terms of erections, pomegranate again holds the advantage. Studies show pomegranate juice directly improves erectile tissue function by reducing oxidative stress and supporting healthier blood vessel dilation. Red wine, in moderation, may help indirectly, but alcohol itself often undermines testosterone and sleep two pillars of male vitality. Let me give you a case example. One of my patients, a 70-year-old named James, drank one to two glasses of red wine nightly because he'd read it was good for his heart. He enjoyed the ritual, but over the years, his blood pressure crept up, his sleep worsened, and his erections faded. After a check-in, I suggested he switch his nightly wine for a small glass of pure pomegranate juice. Three months later, his blood pressure was lower, his energy improved, and his wife told me she'd noticed the difference in his performance. Two, here's the mini hook. James didn't stop drinking because wine was bad. He stopped because for men his age, the risks outweighed the benefits, and pomegranate gave him the results he actually wanted. So if we compare head-to-head, -head, heart health, both offer antioxidants, but pomegranate is stronger and safer long-term. Erections. Pomegranate supports erectile tissue directly, wine only indirectly, risks. Pomegranate is safe for most men. While wine carries risks of alcohol blood pressure, liver, sleep, and testosterone, the verdict, for men over 60 who want both a stronger heart and stronger erections, pomegranate wins this battle hands down. Red wine in small amounts may have its place, but pomegranate is the drink you can count on daily without fear. So here's the lesson. Both pomegranate and red wine have their place in the conversation about heart health and vitality, but when you put them head to head, the difference is clear. Pomegranate delivers the antioxidants, the nitric oxide boost, and the circulation benefits without the risks of alcohol. Red wine may offer some help, but it comes with a price. Disrupted sleep, higher blood pressure, lower testosterone, and a higher chance of long-term damage if you drink too much. Famine our chest. The margin for error is smaller than ever. Your arteries aren't as forgiving. Your liver processes alcohol more slowly. And your need for consistent, reliable blood flow is greater. That's why I tell my patients, if you want a safe daily drink that supports your heart and your erections, choose pomegranate over red wine. But here's the bigger picture. This isn't just about picking one drink over another. It's about taking control of your health with knowledge, not guesswork. It's about making small, consistent choices that protect your heart, restore your vitality, and keep you confident as a man. Now, I want to hear from you. Are you on Team Pomegranate or Team Red Wine? Share your thoughts in the comments and tell us what's worked for you. Your story could help another man make the right choice. And don't stop here. Subscribe to the channel, because in my next video, I'll reveal the one superfood that doctors call nature's artery cleaner, and it just might surprise you. If you care about your blood flow, your heart, and your performance, you won't want to miss it. I'm Dr. Evelyn Hart. Stay informed. Stay strong. And let's keep your blood flowing in the right direction. Disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only and does not replace professional medical advice. Always consult your doctor before making changes to your diet, lifestyle, or medications.